John Anderson, this is a, um, a video in a series on how to build your own Harry Potter uh, simplified sorting hat. Uh, this day three, section three stuff is not essential. It's sort of an extra credit. Uh, so if it's looking a little more complex than you had hoped for, uh, you can bypass it. You don't need to do this piece to complete the project. You can go straight to, to day four. Uh, but for those of you interested in doing a, a little more, going a little deeper, uh, this might be of interest. Uh, so recall here we're, we're gearing this off of the conversation piece and we're using the tooling that's available from the launch tool here. Uh, so I've built out a, uh, a Harry Potter sorting hat uh, basic dialogue tree. Uh, it consists of intents in which we imported the old Harry Potter um, ground truth, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. Um, and each one of these it has a ground truth uh, that tells you uh, what traits or attributes um, for the sorting hat. Uh, would land somebody most likely in Gryffindor and the uh, uh, the intents uses uh, the knowledge graph, the natural language classifier, creates a classifier to, to make the best determination there at the point uh, of, of sorting. So that's the intents. Uh, the entities uh, have been identified at more uh, specific or discrete points um, in terms of if somebody's articulating uh, that they want to do potions or type of potion or types of spells um, each of these um, sort of ties into a certain entity type. So, for example, the entity group jinxes, hexes, and curses. Uh, anyone uttering that they want to do curses, hexes, jinxes, spells would fall into that c category. Uh, and similarly, if, uh, if somebody's um, indicating that they want to um, get into spells and learn about spells and magic, any of these words sort of uh, classifies as a spell type. Uh, one more up here. Uh, if somebody's talking about um, uh, poison, for example, um, actually, in this one, Polyjuice, uh, we're going to want to Polyjuice. Uh, and this one, we're going to need Poison. Um, and, all right, so I've got, I've got a duplicate there. I could actually delete that one, but we'll, we'll do that later. Uh, so, all right, so we can go in and test here. Here's our dialog tree. Uh, begins with the greetings at the beginning. Um, welcome to Hogwarts. Uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to do sorting hat, learn magic spells, or brew potions? And then depending on the response, uh, somebody might end up in the sorting hat um, branch, uh, or in the potions branch, uh, or in the um, uh, magic branch, right? And then depending on the uh, utterances or the responses there, they might end up in spells or transfiguration. Uh, the sorting hat is going to um, ask them um, about themselves and then it will classify them based on um, each of their houses. Let's say they say something naughty, then they're going to be Slytherin. And then the um, potion side, um, you know, if they are if they utter that they want to do something with polyjuice, then they're up for mischief and healing similarly and the responses can be according. So uh, we can test in here and say, you know, hi, um, we're in Hogwarts, what do you want to do? And say, you know, Please sort me. Uh, and it says, okay, you want to go to the sorting hat? Tell me about yourself. And you can say, you know, I am very bad and mean. And you should end up in Slytherin, as, he, as they do. Right? And then we can go back to the beginning um, of the piece. So this is the, the tooling. Uh, now we're going to cut over to R. We're going to interact and interface uh, in the same manner, but with R. And once, now that we're in the R, realm we can also do other things like drive our arduino and, and make that sorting hat do other things and say other things so the main code here is the backbone uh, which is on github uh, but there, we're also going to use some speech um, code snippets that i, I created um, you don't need to use these speech um, code snippets as an alternative uh, you can use uh, if you're running a mac um, hi there uh, you can use Harry Potter is in Gryffindor. So if you don't mind this sort of clunky um, uh, version that's on your Mac, you could use that or you could just use the LEDs. Uh, so you can use the local version if you don't want to use a remote speech service. The advantage of the remote speech service is um, you can choose your voices. Hello, I'm Kate. Or if you want something that sounds a little more Watson. Hi there, I am Michael. Uh, or Lisa. Hey, I'm Lisa. Okay, so uh, so that's a speech piece. Uh, so the code snippets on there. There's text to speech, which we're using now. There's also speech to text if we want to just talk to the hat and have that hat talk back. 
Uh, we won't do that right now, but but the um, the code here, um, let's, we're not going to use the STT, the speech to text stuff, but we will use the um, text to speech for list voices, which tells us all the voices that we can use. So let's go down here. It tells us our, you know, if we're in Japanese or French or Italian or German or Spanish. Um, and then you can see how we called the function a little bit earlier by passing it the base URL, um, the utterance that we wanted it to say, the type of voice, and then just whatever the file name we wanted, and it stored that locally, and then immediately invoked the WAV file. Uh, so that's the speech piece of it. And now we're in the conversation code, so we load our libraries, um, added JSON light here to make life a little easier extracting the JSON we want from the um, uh, from the responses. Uh, we load up our directory, we grab our keys, uh, which we've already loaded up, uh, which have the usernames and the passwords uh, for each of the services. We've got our base URL for the conversations. Um, and then there's basically two major functions here. One's called conversation init. This is the first conversation we have to, to start things rolling and give us the hooks. Uh, and then everything else goes to a conversation chat, uh, which is the uh, uh, takes the, the conversation ID hook, uh, the stack node, which changes over time, the conversation ID shouldn't, uh, and then the dialogue that we're passing to, to send as the next utterance to the, uh, uh, to the system, uh, which effectively does the same thing as, um, as this uh, down here, but it allows us a lot more control. So uh, with that, let's, uh, let's initiate a new conversation here. Uh, so we're going to um, initiate the conversation, we're going to get a response, we're going to um, pull out the JSON that we want, um, and the key points that we wanted in this case were uh, the text, which is welcome to Hogwarts, uh, the conversation ID hook, and the dialogue stuff. And now that we're started our conversation, we can get into our repeat loop and start to chat with the service. So let's go here. I can go hi. Welcome to Hogwarts. What would you like to do? Try the sorting hat, learn magic spells, or brew potions. So let's do, uh, please sort me. Sorting hat. Splendid. Let's sort you. Now tell me about yourself. I am smart and clever and read books. Ravenclaw. Smarty pants. Yes, and then let's... We Welcome to again. Hogwarts. What would you like to do? Try the sorting hat. Sorting hat. Splendid. Let's sort you. Now tell me about yourself. Evil and mean. Slytherin. You naughty child. So the pronunciation isn't perfect there, but we can we could tune that a little later. But uh, so that's the sorting hat branch. Um, Welcome to Hogwarts. Let's try a different branch. What would now. you like to do? Try the sorting hat. Learn magic let's spells go. or brew potions. Let's try the. Um, let's go into potions here. So let's do potions. Brew. What type of potion do you want to make? And let's do a healing spell because uh, that's one of the entities we identified. Healing. That's nice of you. A healing potion. Right, and then the last thing I think we had was a. Uh, Welcome to Hogwarts. Learn magic. You want to study magic spells. Terrific. What type of magic do you want to study? And then we'll, uh, we'll go down here and uh, let's just let's do actually let's do hexes. Just be naughty. Jinxes, hexes, and curses. Oh my! So that's that's the basic um, conversation code hook with some speech integrated, uh, which gives us a stepping stone to the next step, which is a more natural uh, interface to the physical sorting hat. Uh, but that is it. We all post this code up on GitHub as well. Uh, but hopefully you found some of this useful.